Hello, I'm John Favreau, the bloke out of Swingers, and the other one where I was a boxer that wasn't as good as Swingers. I've somehow managed to blag directing the Iron Man film, and I've got a pitch it to the studio this afternoon, but I don't know the first thing about Iron Man. Relax. No one does. What? No one actually reads Iron Man. It's a terrible comic, a brilliant idea done terribly badly. Like a hundred bullets. But I have to make a film of it. Well, a film of it will probably be quite good, because you can just focus on what's awesome about Iron Man. See, in spite of the comics, Tony Stark is actually a really cool character, easily as well-loved as Garfield or Popeye. Except exactly like Garfield and Popeye, no one's read that shit since the 80s. No, no, no! This is a good thing. Because no one reads Iron Man, there isn't any pedantic fan base out there to get angry with you, because most people don't know what you should do with Iron Man. And those that do know will be hoping you'll do a better film than the awful, awful comics. I'm not sure. What colour is Mary Jane's hair? Red. Correct. And what colour is Pepper Potts' hair? Who? Exactly. Iron Man doesn't matter. It isn't in the public consciousness. The only reason that Iron Man is being made is because they need him for the Avengers. Otherwise, no one would even consider wasting their time. I mean, why the hell do you think they've got the director of Zathura lined up to direct and not a Raimi or a Nolan? Fair point. Look, Tony Stark is an alcoholic, narcissistic, billionaire playboy in a big metal suit. That's all you need to know. He's like Bruce Wayne if everyone knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman and he loved it. All Stark needs to do is swagger around being vain, funny and a bit drunk for most of the movie and everyone's happy. What about villains? I challenge you to find me anyone in the street who could even name one of Iron Man's villains. It literally doesn't matter. Just do what Marvel do in every single film adaptation and make the villain a bigger, evil, more lunatic version of the hero. That's not what Marvel do. Uh, Blade, Blade 2, Blade 3, Spider-Man 3, The Hulk, The Incredible Hulk, The Punisher, The Punisher, The Punisher Warzone, Wolverine Origins. Okay, okay. As long as you're sure I won't be upsetting the fan base. There is no fan base. No one reads Iron Man. You can do what you like. Just make sure you get an alcoholic, billionaire, narcissistic playboy who eventually gets into a big metal suit to fight someone in an even bigger metal suit. Make sure it's PG, make sure it's fun, and everyone will be happy you'll have a smash hit on your hands. You're sure? If no one cares that Nick Fury is now black, then no one's going to care what the director of Elf does to Iron Man, provided it's a really enjoyable romp with really, really good casting and a terrifically exciting trailer to whet our appetite. Uh, trailer? Who, who shall I cast as Tony Stark? Oh, come on, that's easy. Alcoholic, narcissistic, playboy, Robert, Robert... Redford. Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Get Robert Downey Jr. in it. You won't even need a script. It'll write itself. In fact, don't bother with a script. <laughs> I need a script. Not with Robert Downey Jr. on board, you don't. Also, you will need about $180 million all in to make it good. It's a film of Iron Man, for God's sake. You're going to need to throw everything and the kitchen sink at it. Two hundred million dollars, no script, ignore the comic? That would be my advice. Well, okay. I'll do it. I'll pitch that to the studio. I think we'll get away with it as long as it's an enjoyable romp with really good casting and a really, really exciting trailer to whet everyone's appetite. Oh my god, that is brilliant! We might actually finally be able to get people to give a shit about Iron Man again. I don't think that would be possible. So who's going to write it? What's the plot going to be? I thought we might just make it up as we went along. Make it up as you go along? The Iron Man film? I mean, I really think that's the way to go. I mean, I might phone up some comic book writers every now and then for advice, but basically we'd make it up as we went along. Is that... Is that okay? Can I make it up as we go along? Yeah, why not? Oh, really? Brilliant. Uh, can I cast Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark? Oh, please. I love RDJ. Oh, really? Brilliant. Um, well, uh, just <laughs> one more thing. Can I please have a production and marketing budget of $180 million? $180 million? You've only made three films, mate! You want that much money to make an improvised action film starring Robert Downey Jr. about a superhero that nobody gives a shit about anymore? Yes. Yeah, why not? Done. To Iron Man! Yeah!